addiction. Mm -hmm. You give drugs to a friend and you find out that he's dead. You get charged, you get prosecuted, you go to prison, you go through the fear and the horror of all that. You fight through that, you survive it, you get out. Yeah. You have two girls. Yes. How old? Uh, nine and 13. And you think you're ready to have them back now? And you said you had a verbal agreement with your sister that after prison that the girls would be back with you. That was supposed to be the goal. That was, again, why, um, why the girls were supposed to go with her because I know that it's extremely difficult to try and get your girls back when they're placed in foster care. And you fear they're not getting good care? Not at all, no. They're... The one day that I was over there, they didn't eat until 8 o'clock at night. Like, that, that happened multiple times. Mm -hmm. And she controls anything and everything that they say and they, they do. I couldn't tell them... I couldn't tell them when I was going to come over next. I couldn't tell them when I was going to see them next. I couldn't, like... Everything is so ordered. My daughter was upset at the table, and she's autistic, so... First of all, yelling is a hard thing for her to handle. So Christy starts yelling at her and she starts to cry. She's apparently not allowed to cry. She, like, my daughter's ch like trying not to cry with everything she's got. And I just wanted to give her a hug and she wouldn't let me. I had to sit there and watch her, like watch all this go down. And this is how it happens all the time. They're afraid to do anything. They're afraid to say anything. They're... Why does she not want you to have them back? I mean, I don't know if it's just the money that she gets or I mean just despite me she loves the control I mean honestly there's no real reason there there's there's not a legitimate reason how do you know they're being abused and neglected my kids told me like I've, I've been there for some of it I've seen the way she is I've been told by numerous people or my daughter was telling me that her son was leaving bruises on her and showed me the bruises mm -hmm. and then she told my mom that later like she's trying to get it out and i've called children's services me and um members of my family have and they just they don't do anything about it they told me i said so they're not they're not eating and children's services told me well usually when a child says that they're exaggerating if it's not the money why would she be keeping them from you the control just to to have that issue power. between you. Yeah, between me and her. Well, all right. The sister we're talking about is uh, Christy. She says she will never give Trisha back her daughters because her sister is a deceitful, irresponsible drug addict who hasn't changed one bit since leaving prison. We'll talk about that after the break. The girls are better off living with me. I call them my girls because they are. I don't think that prison has changed my sister Trish at all because she's still the exact same person. Nobody will ever be able to convince me that my sister Trisha should have custody. And later, were you blackout drunk the night before you came to LA? I'm allowed to go out and drink. Have you been drinking today? No. We found a bottle of tequila in your bag. This May. I can't stand the person you've become. When you get perfect, call me. Families will be put to the test. You said you're going to the grocery store, when in fact you're going to meet a man. You're doing any windows and making it seem like I'm doing more. I don't like it. Well, I don't have to do any window. If I think you're doing something, I'll flat out tell you. My wife cheated on me with my best friend. You sleep in the 